Tesla has unveiled a groundbreaking development that is reshaping the entire electric vehicle industry, an aluminum-ion battery with a remarkable 550-mile range. This new technology offers faster charging, enhanced safety, and is constructed without cobalt or lithium. This is not mere speculation, it is a genuine revolution that challenges everything previously understood about electric cars. Tesla's true advantage lies not in a new vehicle model, but in the battery itself, the core of the future. Batteries were long considered the primary bottleneck for electric vehicles. The prevailing discourse consistently centered on lithium, how to charge it faster, improve its cooling, and extend its lifespan. This was the established challenge and the ongoing race. However, while the world focused on incremental progress, a significant transformation was occurring behind the scenes. Inside a secure, soundproof laboratory in Austin, Texas, Tesla was developing a technology that did not merely challenge the existing rules, it completely rewrote them. The journey began not with a breakthrough, but with a fundamental question. Why continue battling the same limitations, lithium degradation, thermal runaway, and delayed discharge? The engineers hypothesized that the true problem was not the battery's size or its chemistry, but rather the manner in which energy moves within it. This insight led them to aluminum, not as a simple replacement, but as a redefinition. Aluminum offers high conductivity, is abundantly available, and can transfer energy almost instantaneously without bottlenecks. Initially, the concept was theoretical, confined to research papers and small test cells. Then a critical advancement occurred. Tesla's engineers discovered a method to overcome aluminum's significant flaw, ion lock. Typically, aluminum ions cannot release energy rapidly enough. By altering the binding substrate using a proprietary mix of carbon graphene laced with atomic scale induction points, they achieved what they term quantum burst discharge. The result is instantaneous power delivery, no lag, no fade, and no chemical choke points. This leap in efficiency is comparable to upgrading from dial-up to fiber optic internet, but for battery discharge. This transformation redefined the primary limitation of electric vehicles. It was no longer about how far the car could travel, but how powerfully it could perform. Electric vehicles were suddenly about raw, unfiltered power, offering supercapacitor level output with the storage density of a full battery pack. Tesla had successfully implemented this technology not merely on a prototype bench, but in full-scale modules concealed under test vehicles, conducting laps on closed tracks while the rest of the industry remained focused on lithium. Inside Tesla's high-voltage testing lab, confidential data was inadvertently revealed. The numbers indicated a monumental leap forward, 7,000 watts per kilogram, a figure five times greater than that of Tesla's own 4,680 lithium-ion cells. This is no longer just a battery. It is a controlled energy source, managed and delivered through software-tuned pulses rapid enough to rival direct fuel injection, all while remaining cool, stable, and repeatable. The new aluminum-ion cells do not expand under stress and do not require cryogenic cooling. In fact, their performance improves as temperatures rise. Whereas most lithium cells degrade above 40 degrees Celsius and risk thermal runaway at 60 degrees Celsius, these new Tesla cells operate most efficiently at 85 degrees Celsius. Where lithium fails, aluminum excels. This is because the chemical transfer relies not on thermal activation, but on pulse resonance triggered by a novel signal controller within the battery management system called Quantum Burst Control, QBC. This system does not merely regulate power, it shapes it. Lab reports indicate that even after 10,000 full cycles, there is no measurable drop in output, 0% degradation. The same torque, launch capability, and range are maintained, equating to over 25 years of daily charging without any loss of performance. For Tesla, this was not a boast but a fundamental requirement, because this battery is destined not for a luxury sedan or a high-end flagship, but for an entirely different class of vehicle. Tesla did not simply create a new battery, they designed a new vehicle category around it. Internally referred to as Project Redwood, it will be publicly known as the Model 2. It is projected to have a price under $16,000, a range of 550 miles, and a charge time of 5 minutes. These are not marketing claims but demonstrated results from Tesla's closed-door testing events. A 5-minute charge from 0 to 100% is achieved on a level 4 aluminum-capable charger using quantum burst modulation. This is a practical and scalable advancement. When journalists were discreetly invited to ride in the first pre-production Model 2, 
They were not informed about its power source, but immediately noticed its exceptional performance. This was not merely an affordable electric vehicle, it launched with astonishing force, 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.2 seconds. It was silent, violent, and relentless, capable of repeated acceleration without thermal throttling, lag, or performance drop-off. Competitors like the Porsche Taycan overheat after several launches, and the BMW i4 throttles at 50 degrees Celsius, but the aluminum ion Tesla continued to perform consistently. The realization was profound. Tesla was not catching up, everyone else was falling behind. While legacy automakers struggled to sell $60,000 EVs with 30-minute charge times and fragile battery chemistries, Tesla is preparing to saturate the market with a $15,000 electric vehicle that never fades, never overheats, and charges faster than one can finish a cup of coffee. The true shock was not that Tesla developed a superior battery, but that they made it affordable, not in the distant future, but now. This is not a concept, it is already being produced on a limited line. The production process is modular, simplified, and vertically integrated. Every cell is manufactured in-house using materials 10 times more abundant than lithium, with no cobalt, nickel, or supply chain vulnerabilities, just domestically built speed encapsulated in the most accessible electric vehicle in history. The industry was unprepared for this shift. While the world remained fixated on lithium, cobalt, and conflict minerals from troubled regions, Tesla turned its attention to an element so commonplace it was practically overlooked, aluminum. It is the third most abundant element on Earth, light, strong, and infinitely recyclable. For decades, scientists dismissed its potential as a battery material, citing instability and reactivity. However, Tesla's innovative chemistry, which employs a crystalline structure embedded with graphene-like lattice modifiers, ed this notion. The aluminum core does not degrade with use, it grows stronger. The more it charges, the tighter its structure becomes, activation, not decay. This new cell eliminates not only the need for lithium but also cobalt, nickel, and rare earths, ending dependence on mines in China or the human cost in the Congo. It utilizes raw, scalable American aluminum, refined with AI-optimized ion layers that self-organize under current load. Heat, the nemesis of lithium, actually enhances aluminum's performance. The hotter the battery becomes, the more conductive its internal channels grow. No fire risk, no bloating, just raw power efficiency accelerated by extreme heat. In deserts, on racetracks, and under pressure, aluminum does not merely survive, it thrives. Amid cracking lithium supply chains and geopolitical tensions, this technological achievement also represents a geopolitical shift, a supply chain upheaval and a sovereign advantage that Tesla is uniquely positioned to leverage. Then came the moment that addressed the most common criticism of electric vehicles, charging time. The perennial complaint has been, EVs are great, but I don't have 40 minutes to wait on a road trip. That excuse has now been shattered. In a closed-door investor demonstration, Tesla presented a single Model 2 prototype, unadorned and cloaked in black. Engineers plugged it into a standard supercharger with no experimental equipment or modified cables and started a timer. What followed was a reset of expectations, 5 minutes to 80% capacity. The audience did not applaud, they stared in stunned silence, understanding the seismic implications. No special infrastructure or nationwide rollout is required, just a new cell chemistry and a hypercharge interface engineered to channel energy through nanostructured pathways without heat spikes or anode degradation. These tiny channels, self-assembled through AI-predicted formation models, allow ions to flow with minimal resistance. Remarkably, the cell did not even warm up. No fans or cooling coils were needed. The energy transfer was utterly efficient. In post-demonstration surveys, Tesla revealed that 65% of EV-hesitant consumers cited charging time as their primary concern. That concern is now obsolete. But it is not just about speed, it is also about stamina. Whereas lithium ions degrade, fracture, and lose capacity with each hard cycle, Tesla's aluminum ion design improves with use. Each cycle realigns its ion lattice, akin to bone healing after stress. Even after 500,000 full discharge recharge cycles, the battery retains 100% performance, equivalent to over a century of daily use without decline. Tesla subjected the cell to urban delivery van simulations, including full-stop braking, heat cycles from minus 10 degrees Celsius to plus 90 degrees Celsius, and rapid acceleration loops designed to mimic towing uphill at full payload. Not once did the output throttle. 
Not once did temperature spikes trigger shutdowns. The battery proved impervious to stress. Regenerative braking was also transformed. Aluminum ion superconductor pathways allow up to 98% energy recapture. In dense urban environments, this translates to 20% more usable range obtained not from charging, but from braking. Slowing down the car effectively reloads it. Thermal throttling is eliminated. Drivers can push the aluminum ion battery to its limits in desert heat under heavy load at track speed, and the power curve remains perfectly flat. No tapering, no lag, no warnings to try again later. It delivers raw, repeatable power on demand. Unlike other solid-state prototypes still confined to labs or costing $80,000 per unit, this technology is real, durable, and ready. The world's most underestimated element has rewritten the rules of physics, and Tesla is already constructing the future around it. Building this future requires more than technical breakthroughs. It demands a new kind of manufacturing infrastructure. Tesla's revolution extends beyond chemistry to its production facilities. Giga Mexico, nestled deep in Mexico's industrial heartland, is Tesla's first factory built exclusively for aluminum ion battery packs. Every aspect is optimized for speed, efficiency, and scale. The water-intensive, slow wet coating process used for lithium cells has been replaced with dry electrode manufacturing, eliminating billions of gallons of water waste annually and cutting production time in half. This facility will produce half a million battery packs annually, occupying only a third of the space required by lithium plants. Vertical integration combines with robotic precision, orchestrated by AI. Robots handle 98% of the assembly, with human workers focused on quality oversight and maintenance. This is not mere automation, it is an industrial advantage designed to outpace all competition. Logistics are exceptionally swift. The first battery modules move from assembly line to delivery truck in less than 72 hours, a speed that redefines supply chain expectations and creates significant challenges for legacy manufacturers accustomed to weeks or months of delays. The ambition does not stop with one factory. Tesla plans a global network of micro factories. By 2026, 35 such units are confirmed across 12 countries. By 2027, the target is 100 micro factories in 20 nations, each capable of producing 1 million battery packs annually. This is not centralized production. It is a decentralized grid of manufacturing. Each micro factory operates autonomously, guided by AI systems that optimize output based on real-time market demand. This radical approach shatters the lithium monopoly and the chokehold held by China and a few refining giants. Tesla's distributed network reduces transportation costs, slashes tariffs, and eliminates geopolitical bottlenecks. Energy production becomes local, flexible, and unstoppable, less a factory and more a living organism, a global energy hive with Tesla at its core. What does this mean for the driver? Everything. The moment the accelerator is pressed, power is immediate, a surge of torque that eliminates lag. There is no delay, no fade, and no excuses. It is pure, unfiltered power delivered with precision. The Model 2 accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just over 3 seconds. Unlike traditional supercars, this acceleration can be repeated endlessly without any need for thermal cooldown. Whether driving uphill with a trailer, navigating tight corners, or passing traffic on the highway, the power curve remains unwavering. There is no degradation, throttling, or hesitation. Ludicrous mode can be engaged lap after lap, sprint after sprint, and the battery remains unfazed by heat buildup. The car feels less like a machine and more like an extension of the driver, a rocket on four wheels. Test drivers report an intuitive connection. The vehicle seems to anticipate inputs, adjusting energy delivery dynamically to their driving style and the road ahead. It is a seamless symphony of human and machine. This is more than a car. It is a revolution on wheels, a glimpse into a future where energy is abundant, fast, and endlessly reliable. Tesla's aluminum ion battery is not merely a technical marvel. It is the core of a new era. This power is not confined to a laboratory. It is on the streets, in driveways, and unlocking possibilities previously unimaginable. A single battery pack in the Model 2 is not only a powerhouse for the road, but also for the world, capable of delivering up to 2 megawatts of instantaneous energy, enough to power 200 homes, operate heavy industrial equipment for hours, or sustain entire neighborhoods during outages. Tesla is no longer just selling a car, they are offering a mobile energy node, 
a portable reactor that transforms every Model 2 into a decentralized power plant. Bidirectional charging technology turns the vehicle into a lifeline. Homes, trailers, and even small communities can draw electricity directly from the car's battery. Imagine a future where every parked Tesla feeds energy back into the grid during peak hours, smoothing demand surges, stabilizing local networks, and empowering communities to achieve self-reliance. The resilience and efficiency of the aluminum ion system make this vision practical, positioning every Model 2 as an integral component of a vast distributed energy web. This is not science fiction. It is Tesla's bold blueprint for an energy revolution where cars function not merely as transportation but as vital infrastructure. Mobile reactors, constant power sources, and flexible storage units seamlessly integrated into daily life. The implications extend far beyond automotive technology, threatening to how power is generated, stored, and distributed worldwide. For combustion engines, this is the final blow. The Model 2 is cheaper than almost every gas-powered compact car on the market, faster than many sports cars, and cleaner than the most advanced hydrogen vehicles. When compared to competitors like the BYD Dolphin or the Xpeng G9, it does not merely lead, it dominates. Priced under $16,000, with a 5-minute recharge time, 550 miles of range, and supercar acceleration, it obliterates the old logic of compromise. Fill-up times at gas stations appear archaic next to Tesla's 5-minute charge. Maintenance costs approach zero, and fuel expenses vanish. The centuries-old reign of the internal combustion engine crumbles under the weight of pure economics and brutal performance. This is not hype. It is the first time electric vehicles have decisively won across every meaningful category. The end of combustion is no longer a question of if, but when. Beneath this shift lies a deeper, seismic upheaval, the decline of lithium. Tesla's aluminum-ion batteries reduce the cost per kilowatt-hour from lithium's inflated $120 to an unprecedented sub-$40. This cost collapse alone threatens to dismantle the entire lithium supply chain, a disruption Tesla openly projects will reach $10 billion annually. But it is not just about price, it is about control. The entire battery life cycle is designed to be circular, local, and autonomous. Up to 95% of materials are recycled on site. There are no sprawling mines in unstable regions, no geopolitical choke points, and no dependency on a single nation or corporation. China's decades long monopoly on lithium refining over 80% of the global market, faces its most existential threat yet. Tesla's swarm of micro-factories, each producing millions of aluminum-ion packs worldwide, fractures old supply chains and redistributes power. The lithium era is concluding, and Tesla's energy empire is rising from its ashes. This is no ordinary car launch. It is a declaration of independence, a shot fired in the silent war for the future of energy. The Model 2 stands not only as a vehicle but as a symbol of innovation, defiance, and a new world order in motion. As the dust settles on the lithium age, one question remains. How fast will the rest of the world adapt before it is left behind?